Hi, everyone. We are Avanto, and we are redefining cold. And when it's really cold, you're going to get cold as well, and you need warm clothing, like a big puffy jacket. But when you're wearing that big puffy jacket and you need to use your hands, you're probably going to feel clumsy. And if you need to move around, you're probably going to get hot. But what happens after that? You get cold again, and it's not nice, not at all. And uh, in the marvels of modern age, you can use wearable technology, heated clothing, so to say. That's what we're into. But the current heated clothing, it just doesn't cut it. It's clumsy as well. It's got wires. It's got plates that are rigid. So it's uncomfortable, unpractical, and it's an afterthought. But our solution to this is wireless infrared heating systems that we develop for functional clothing. I'll tell you more about our technology a little bit later, but first, let me tell you how we got here. In 2015, we created this, an infrared heated cold water diving suit. Avant, by the way, means a hole in the ice that's a starting point for any cold water diving adventure. Our solution worked really well. In fact, so well that we decided to make it into a business. But being the ambitious design driven company that we are, we thought that it's a little bit of a niche market, cold water diving. So our solution being so good, we decided to expand upon it. And uh, it can be applied to, for example, sports and recreation, military and safety applications, or workwear, just to name a few. And we kept developing our technology further. And this is what it can look like nowadays in a base layer. It has heating areas that provide warmth and uh, warmth and functionality for the user. It has compatibility with other wearable technology solutions, such as smartphones or monitoring your body temperature automatically. And it has a completely seamless design. And this is where it gets really interesting and exciting. In 2016, we figured out something that's no one, that no one's done before. We figured out a way of integrating a special carbon fiber-based yarn into the fabric itself while it's being created. This way, we can create seamless textiles that provide warmth for the user, comfort when the, even when the heating element is not on, and functionality that's better than anyone else's. Our business model is based on licensing, so we want to enable clothing manufacturers to put our technology into their manufacturing processes. We want to become the Gore-Tex of heated clothing, but we still have a couple of milestones before that. So we are starting a pilot project in 2018 with a top three workwear manufacturer from Scandinavia. This is a tech packed project partly, but we are raising 200000 as investment money. So ask and I'll answer. My name is Ike Rings and we are Avanta. Thank you. And that was sharp. Thank you, Ike. Uh, move on to questions. Uh, can you tell us how you control the temperature? Yeah, like I was telling about the integration between other wearable technology solutions, such as smartphones or automatic control, um, we, can, we can use all of those solutions to control it. It is powered by a battery pack that is smaller than your cell phone and provides uh, energy for the whole day, so you can be heated, but you can choose how to control it. It can be either buttons or a user interface, cell phone control or automatic control. How expensive is it for you to produce? Excuse me? How expensive, how expensive is it? Um, the solution, we're talking about a premium product here, but uh, if you have a jacket that costs, for example, 250 euros, this would, at this juncture, we are estimating that it would add around 100 euros to the price. So, so given that it's very premium and also obviously not everywhere has a demand for self-heated jackets, how, how large do you think the market is in the long run for this? Like, what, 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 are you, what is the end game for Avanta? Uh, our end game is to become, like I said, the Gore-Tex of heated clothing, but the market is a little bit of untapped at the moment. The current market size is around 50 million euros, but it is because some, most of the heated technology, heated clothing technology that is used today is just for really specific applications, such as different types of work wear, different types of rescue gear and things like this. But with our solution, it can be expanded and applied to pretty much any kind of regular clothing as well. So in that sense, it's an untapped market. How do you think about patenting the technology and making sure that you have that you know, IP advantage? Yeah, we have patented our core technology, and we're obviously applying for more patents that are applying to our technology. So it is protected. What's the sort of 
do, do, do you see that there's like some adjacency here that I mean like I think for you you're obviously you know a smart and ambitious person that you know 50 million euro market's not not very large is there some adjacency that the technology in the long run enables or allows you to make a, a side move or you know is, is it always going to be the Gore-Tex of heated clothing is, there, is there, or is there some other yeah, I only mentioned, uh, that's a good question, by the way. I, me already, I mentioned uh, the wearable, cl the clothing, the wearable technology, but uh, we can expand to, for example, healthcare applications, elder care, and uh, military applications, and uh, for example, automotive technology, for example, heated seats, and things like this. So our technology can be applied to many different types of areas. We're talking about clothing because we are piloting on the workwear side of things, and we are obviously expanding to other areas as well. So yes, it is expandable to answer your question. And very quickly, is, how, what sort of stage are you at in terms of the sort of manufacturing process? Like, have you done it at any scale yet? Or is it prototype? Like, where, where would you place yourself on that curve? We have a functioning prototype, and we are about to test that those prototypes in authentic conditions during our pilot projects. So we have a functioning product, and now we have to undergo more tests in authentic products, you know, authentic situations to bring it to the market. So if no more questions, then thank you, Ike, uh, from Avanta Technologies.